Let's walk down this path together. This path. <laughs> and uh, you walk alongside me and I'll turn and, and speak to you now and again. Um, enjoy. Perhaps I'm, uh, I'm thinking more about where we're going and you're thinking more about, I wonder if there's deer in there, I wonder if there's any, any fruit on these trees. And uh, because you're glancing over there and I'll glance over at you, yeah, we'll get some eye contact. Like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Are you, are you still interested? <laughs> um, well, I wanted to talk to you. I wanted to walk down this path and talk to you about uh, narcissism. And uh, mostly, I guess, I, what, I, what I want to talk to you about is why loving yourself is important. And I think that... I mean, everything that you do that, uh, that wows you, that amazes you, um, those are rare moments. Um, I mean, most, most life is, uh, life is mostly about, uh, you know, chopping wood and carrying water. It's not about, uh, um, racing the fastest to the top of the mountain. You can't race to the top of the mountain every day because you have to chop wood and carry water. Um... So, but when you get those moments, uh, appreciate that. Appreciate the fact that uh, you made it to the top of that mountain really fast. And there's a part where the, lo the rock was loose and you started to feel one shift and you shifted your weight and hit another rock and didn't even lose stride. That's awesome that you could do that. And if you go back uh, after you get done chopping wood and carrying water and you're going back and sitting around the fire with others, and someone tells a story of them racing down to the lake and they started to slide um, was able to catch a branch as it went across the top of their head and they'd move themselves forward and uh, landed back on their feet and kept racing and they gave a holler of joy um, you'll know what that's like and you'll be able to appreciate and applaud that person um, and if, and if that person tells a lot of stories about racing down to the lake, um, I don't necessarily think that person is overly in love with themselves. I think that person is um, really wanting to cherish um, themselves and their triumphs. Because um, maybe they think that, you know, they chop too much wood and carry too much water. Maybe they wish their life was more about, uh, you know, victories while racing down to the lake. And I think that a feeling that they might be uh, overly in love with themselves um, probably wouldn't ca come from their sharing their, uh, their stories of victory, uh, their joy of, uh, of agility. Um, it would probably come from if after you told, after they told their story and you, uh, you applauded them, and then so that that reminds me of my trip to the top of the mountain last weekend where I had a, almost fell on some loose rock but I was able to right myself and continue running now if they then criticized your story I think that what that would mean is they find that your triumphs are trying to overshadow their triumphs and they want to like take you down a notch I think that's the problem I think then uh, accusations of narcissism, um, you might have something to work with there. While I think that someone just talking about or demonstrating something that they love and enjoy, um, I think is probably more likely that they just want you to know what makes them happy and they don't want to talk about um, the joy they have in life because. Uh, you know, we all wish that there was more joy to it, but uh, what we end up with is uh, a lot of chopping wood and uh, carrying water. How's it going? Oh yeah, indeed. Walking and talking. Um, yeah. So, uh, it's not the people who want to share their joys and their uh, triumphs that I think that we need to be concerned about. Uh, I think it's the people that want to make your joys and triumphs seem like they're less. That's, that's where you need to worry. <laughs> All right. I'll see you in the tubes where we'll film our faces and talk to one another. <laughs> All right.
Peace out.